Hello, everyone. My name is Maria, and I come from Creative Technologies team here in Brighton Wood. And today, we will discuss about automated design and how we have achieved automated design in one of our projects, the Rapid Engineering Model, which is a project that we have been working for the last two years. In architectural engineering construction industry, where we, I think most of us come from today, we face one main problem, we lack of communication. We need to work across big teams, we need to work across many disciplines, and we need to work closely with our clients. And this is the point that automated design can help us solve this lack of communication in order to focus on the interesting part of our projects instead of focusing how to solve all these issues caused from lack of communication. There are two main factors that drive automated design. We need to achieve automation, which means that we can design faster, but also smarter which means that we shouldn't only focus how to reduce the time of a process, but we should make sure that we design in a smarter way, meaning that we can bring intelligence and we can increase the capabilities of a project, of the designers or the client. Automated design is relying on a data lake. We can create generative design through this data lake. We can create a mathematical modeling, generate a BIM model, or run a geospatial analysis. What changes its time is the different interpretation of this data saved in this data lake. So what is the correlation of a data lake with rapid engineering model? Rapid engineering model is a radical and disruptive new digital approach for automated design design for the country's strategic road network. It is a process that has been developed by Brighton in collaboration with Smart Motorways program of Highways England. The rapid engineering model is about data processes and data analytics, is about interactive models and automated processes. Actually, the problem that we had to solve with this, pro with this project was to design a 3D model of a road. But in Bridewood, we don't design roads. And in reality, most of us who work in this project, we have a background in architecture. And that was the challenging part with this project. At the end of the day, we designed the 3D model of a road by using a totally different and radical workflow. We focused on the collection of data in order to create this 3D model. The rapid engineering model process is made up of five basic principle steps. First of all, we need to analyze the data we collect and that describe the existing conditions of a road. Then we need to evaluate this data set and understand risks and opportunities on this specific scheme. As soon as we have collected this information so we understand the conditions that we have to deal with, we can create a layout through an automated process. The, the, the layout can be optimized either through the process itself or through collaborative session. And at the end of the day, we can generate different outputs based on this information. And one of these outputs could be a BIM model. Something that was very important while we were developing this process is that we didn't rely on the development of this process only in one software. Instead, we used a collection of different software, so we create our own software ecosystem in order to have the flexibility to, to increase our capabilities and achieve the best result for this specific project. Therefore, we generate a data set informing us about the conditions. And any time we can create a layout that we can visualize that through different outputs. So by now, the structure seems quite straightforward. We create, collect, and consume data. But the reality is a bit more complex. 
This is the actual a graph that represents the actual data flow of REM process at the moment. What we can still identify though is the REM database that sits in the center of this process. Our process is separating four different phases. We, have, we configure our inputs, then we can analyze and evaluate our inputs, then we have a collection of steps where we can create the design, and then many different steps where we can create a series of outputs. That could be a 3D model, maybe Excel files that extract information from the database, or we build web applications. Through this way, we create a database that supports transparency of the process and supports the decision making through such a process. <coughs> if we zoom in in the database, we can identify a series of collections. I would describe the collections as buckets that hold all the information that we have collected through this process. These collections either feed the process with information or receive information from the different steps. We might have collections that refer to topography data set or collections that refer to the data set coming from the context or the actual design. The, the, the database technology that we use for this specific project is MongoDB. And that was because during the, developing, the development of the project, that Mongo gives us an agile structure that we can play and, it, uh, and work with different forms of data. So that gives us the flexibility to test different data sets. And this is actually how Mongo is in reality. So we have on the left side different collections that they all come with series of data, series of numbers and text describe the conditions. And now I would like to take you through one of example of our methodology and thinking in REM process, which is visibility analysis. Since we have to deal with the design of the roads, one main thing that we need to be aware of is that we need to design roads, safe roads, quite quickly, and make sure that wherever we place the equipment required for these schemes and these roads, they have the best conditions, and visibility is one of these parameters. This graph represents, this diagram represents the logic of how we analyze the visibility analysis, which is then saved as a data set, and this is a representation, a 3D graph representation of this data set. Through rapid engineering model, we can run multiple checks, we can run multiple scenarios, and against many different parameters. And we can run this analysis across the whole scheme. We know on any part of the road which are the conditions. For example, in this case, we have used like a bend of the road where you can easily identify that one side has really good visibility, but because of the bend, the other side has bad conditions. So we can identify quickly the areas that we should avoid and pick quickly the areas where we should place our equipment. Eventually, as we collect this data set, then we are ready to create the BIM, a 3D model, a BIM model. This model calls, carries all the information we have collected through this process. It is saved in the, mo in the model and actually the information, the data set defines the position of its element. And any time we have the ability and we have the ability to check if the layout is compliant with the design requirements. This central data repository allows us to build customized applications. And the number of applications we can build on this data set is endless. With this application, we can extract the data in different ways, depending on what we want to visualize in each case. And we could build applications that could refer to designers, to stakeholders, or anyone who wants to interact with the design. REM is an evolving digital workflow. It is an approach that brings design intelligence and better quality in our, in our projects. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.